नमो तस्वतो अर्हत सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द डिस्कोर्स टूडे इज हाउ टू ट्रेन द माइंड थ्रू कॉन्टेम्पलेशन ऑन फीलिंग्स बाय कॉन्टेम्पलेशन आई मीन mindfulness and clear comprehension by training the mind in a way that we become constantly aware of the feelings that arise in the various <coughs> indriyas the indriya that means a sense बेस चक्षु सोता घाना जीवा काया मना देर आर दी सिक्स सेंस फैकल्टीज विच आर नोन एज इंद्रियाज नाउ दीज दीज आर द बेसिस वेर फीलिंग्स अराइज सो इफ यू हैव टू ट्रेन योर माइंड बाय बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर अवेयर <clears throat> and by clearly comprehending the nature of every feeling that arises from moment to moment under all circumstances of life whether you are eating or moving about or going about talking lying down under all circumstances of life you apply your mind in such a way that you are in constant awareness constant mindfulness and clear comprehension of the nature of the feeling now the feelings when we make the feeling the tool for training the mind we must know where the feeling arises and how it arises the feeling arises on the sense basis there are this five uh, physical sense basis eye ear nose tongue body and the mind as the sixth uh, faculty <coughs> faculty is a power base and any power that one has to use whether it's intellectual power moral power money power political power or any power whatsoever any power to be useful to be a tool for good even good it must be under control for power to be useful power to enable a person to transform oneself from a state of slavery to a state of freedom the power that enables us to bring about this from slavery to freedom from ignorance to wisdom from evil to good this transition from one track to the other track from the wholesome from the unwholesome to the wholesome to be able to do this the tool being free about feeling and the contemplation being constant awareness or being attentive attentive to every feeling that arises so that you know clearly you comprehend the nature of the feeling and you are able to regulate the feeling because feeling itself is a power base itself is an indriya feeling being an indriya and if we have to use this indriya this power base of feeling to transform our lives from a state of bondage to a state of liberation we should know what feeling is 
how it arises, where it arises. Now, to know feeling, we must know where it arises. And the arising, as I mentioned already, it arises in the Indriyas. It is an Indriya by itself and it arises in an Indriya. That being the case, we may to, in order to turn feeling into a tool, we must turn the Indriyas into a tool the sense faculties and the mind. These must become the tool if we have to have control over the feeling. Now let us see how many different types of feelings there can be that arise in these uh, sense bases or sense faculties. Now first of all there are these three basic feelings. The feeling which is agreeable Sukha or disagreeable Dukha or neutral Upekha, neither Sukha nor Dukha. And this agreeable feeling can grow into pleasant feeling and the disagreeable into unpleasant or even painful feeling and the neutral into indifferent feeling. And not only that, they can go further. They not only, uh, feeling can be not only pleasant, but it is so attractive that it indulges, keeps on indulging. One keeps on indulging in that feeling. Keeps on enjoying that feeling as much as possible and every moment of life. And by doing so, the feeling itself leads to, it uh, triggers a whole mental process. It triggers a thinking process leading to desiring and desiring to craving and craving to karma and karma to punarjanma, rebirth. This is how it follows. So if we have to have, you see, control over the feeling through the control, uh, through the, uh, you see, the Indriyas, have control over Indriyas themselves, then we must also know what this control mechanism called Indriya is to begin with, because now you have these three fundamental feelings. They get more complicated. They get more complex as they grow. So now the pleasant feeling or attractive feeling, feeling can be purely a physical attractive feeling or it can be also a purely mental attractive feeling or pleasant feeling, and the opposite, the unpleasant or the painful and so on. So both mental and physical, if you put them together, now the three becomes five. Now you have got these five distinct type of feeling, five types now, distinct, and they are all very different. And all of them can give rise to, or they can lead the mind into an involvement in karma. And once you are involved in karma, karma opens up the future. You are reborn in a new state of existence. So this is inevitable because that is the natural consequence of karma. Rebirth is the natural consequence. It is called the corollary of karma, which means the natural consequences of karma. And this karma comes into being entirely because when we don't know how, you see, to control the feelings. It is the feeling which gives rise to all this. 
Now involvement, let us say, in samsaric existence, you see, people like to eat nice food, good food, all kinds of hotels and restaurants, all sorts of things have sprung up everywhere in the city. Just to tickle the greed of the people, the greed for food, for taste. And taste is the external object of a indriya called tongue. You are the slave of the tongue. Once the taste takes over your mind, it's as simple as that. You are the slave of your sex drive. Once the feeling takes over your mind, and the slavery of these various, uh, you see, the desire occurring through the various objects of the senses. You see an object very beautiful and become a slave to that beautiful thing. You hear some sound and you become a slave to sound, to music, to this, to talk. Young people are completely caught up by this. They want to hear each other's voice. And Similarly, the ear, the sound, the nose, the smell. Now there is a religion, a whole religion, devoted to how to cultivate smell. And they say in the paradise it is filled with good smell. Ah, full of fragrance indeed, wonderful. So you keep on indulging your sense of good smell and fragrance so that you may get catapulted into the paradise after your death. Very easy theory, wonderful theory, and it is this kind of theories that leads to slavery in samsaric existence. So there you are. All the six sense organs, they have various functions. Now I, for instance, I, ear, nose, tongue, body, you see, and mind. So now all these, they have different functions. The I functions as a door to the external world. How do we come in contact with the Western world, to the external world? If we did not have a door by which the mind could go, and experience the experience, uh, the external world. So these indriyas are doors of experiencing the external world, because the mind can only visualize, experience the external world through these doors. They are access points and also exit points. Similarly, they are the very base, foundation for the mind to interact with the external world. It is this base that uh, brings the external and the internal world into one platform. And three things occur in this. The external object, the internal sense organ, and the mind. Once they meet, that meeting becomes the source of feeling. As soon as this meeting occurs, now the feeling begins to uh, crop up endlessly indeed. And in a, in a speed that has no limit. That is why beings are absolutely caught, involved in feeling in such a way that they become a slave to their feelings. So now, two functions of these indriyas. It's a door, it's a base. And it is also a control mechanism. What do I mean by control mechanism? 
Now let us say anything that moves in the world, a dynamic thing, needs to be controlled. A motor car is very useful and without it, uh, you, you, nowadays life, you just become zero, you become a vegetable, you can't move. So now this motor car, which can travel at a very high speed of 120 miles an hour, that's a death trap. It can finish you in one second, once it collides with an object. As soon as the, go, the car goes and plunges into something, there ends everything. What is it that has caused this destruction of both car and the lives inside the car? Speed, dynamism, motion. So a control mechanism, when installed into the car, well, the car is safe enough because you can control. Not only the car, the contr control the speed of the car. There are various gears, one, two, three, four, and so on. There is a clutch. There is a, a whole brake mechanism. It's called the brake. As soon as you install this brake, it's a control mechanism. The whole thing is under your control. You can move at any speed. You can stop anywhere. You can go at, um, uh, you see, whether 80 miles or 100 miles or 2 miles or ten miles. To your pleasure you can do that, you can adjust. So that control mechanism is called Indriya and that is where the feeling grows. So feeling itself being an Indriya, it also grows on an Indriya, external, but that means physical or mental. So this control mechanism of the Indriya, if we know how to operate it, how to regulate it, then you are the master of it. If you do not know, that is why you become a slave and you hit something and you are finished. So now, in order to train the mind through you see, the, um, the feeling contemplation or uh, feeling mindfulness, mindfulness and clear comprehension of the feeling, you see. To be able to do that, this, all these, uh, you see, inputs that I have now presented to you, you must clearly understand all these. So the importance of Indriya, it's a door, it's a base, it's a power center, you see, and it's also a control mechanism. All these various functions. So if you really want to have, get the best out of your con uh, feeling contemplation, it is necessary you understand where the feeling arises and how it arises. Here is a, you have got an eye which is perfectly healthy and uh, this, the, the whole world is filled with visible objects. It's a world of visible things, world of sound, world of smell, world of taste, world of touch, world of mental concepts and ideas and mental images. So these six worlds are all put together into one. We experience them constantly, one after the other, or uh, you see, at random. So this interaction between the external and the internal, brought about by the mind, although when the three meet, that's a, a triple junction. And that is where the feeling arises. So once we know this, and we cultivate this mindfulness, that's why in Dhammapada it is 
चक्षुना संवरो साधु 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 सोते न संवरो घाने न संवरो साधु साधु जीवहाय संवरो काये न संवरो साधु साधु वाचाय संवरो सब मनसा संवरो साधु साधु सब्बत्त संवरो सब्बत्त संगत्वो भिक्खु सब्ब दुखा पमुच्चती Now it is good साधु it is excellent deed to have control to have mindfulness on the eye and exert control on everything that is coming through the mind through the door of the mind nice objects beautiful things and you are you get mohita infatuated by beautiful things and they are in the matter and whole series come goes into craving and attachment and into karma and into rebirth so this is how so if we have if we train ourselves in kain chakuna sangvaru sad you see exert control over the eye he says the buddha says exert control over the eye how can you exert control over the eye you can simply close the eye and uh, uh, put something you see on the eye and then say it's control no you can exert control of, over the eye faculty only through mindfulness put your mindfulness in place on the eye door put a sentry up a security man in the form of mindfulness and clear comprehension on the my on the eye door and you are in control of the whole you are you have the first rate brake mechanism over there and your car can uh, you see sweep through 120 miles and nothing will happen you are have complete control over the mind and you train the mind that way so have this uh, control mechanism fixed by way of cultivating mindfulness the more you become mindful let us say of an incoming of ob- incoming uh, say object visible object that is coming into your mind either you like it or dislike it if it is pleasant you say oh fine come and let me enjoy it and if you dislike it you repel and you dislike it you have to create prejudice all kinds of things will follow so in